I think I've finally made a decision. I'm going to move forward with creating an entrepreneur series. Education on an ongoing basis that people can subscribe to. I'll answer questions, I'll address my tips and tricks that I've gained over the past almost 20 years. There are quite a few entrepreneurs out there always asking for my advice and a few more would-be entrepreneurs who need some help. I'm not sure where to set the price exactly. I don't want to undersell myself and I don't want to oversell myself. I've got to think about it a little more, but I'm going to do it. It's a matter of when, not if. The thing is, a lot of people in the existing community, the people who might watch our vlogs, or the people who watch TLDR when it's live, or the people who listen to the podcast, or the people who watch my reviews, or the people who watch my haul videos, anybody who might have experienced anything that I put out there in terms of general content is probably not the key audience for this new kind of product. Because I don't necessarily have an audience of entrepreneurs, at least that I know of. But I gotta try. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. I wish I could explain this lifestyle to Diana. She gets to live it, but she doesn't necessarily know what it's like to be an entrepreneur. Sometimes life is like the movie Groundhog Day. I'm sure I'm not the only person to have experienced that. Every day can't be different. Or can it? All of my passions and interests will often be translated into the business and vice versa. Some days are easier than others, and that's part of the fun. <laughs> fun. <laughs> you know, I thought about doing some kind of daddy show. Because there are a lot of daddies out there. Bah! Bah! Oh, I see your top two. Bah! 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 It's the only way we can get her to open her mouth. I'm going to try some Trader Joe's Chili Spiced Mango. I smell more chili than I do mango. Here goes nothing. It's not spicy at all. Tangy, chewy, flavorful. That's a winner. I'm gonna try a second one, just in case the first one was a fluke. This is equally as good. Although I don't know if I could see myself eating a lot of these in one sitting. I bet that Diana's going to like them. A lot. There you go. A bonus food review. I'm going back upstairs so I don't want to make a lot of noise. Even though I've got a bag of popcorn in my hand. It's not exactly the world's quietest snack. I'm almost out. Someone has crafted a rocking horse at at. I've also seen like a rocking horse tauntaun, but they're not mass produced. So, unless I suddenly sprout the ability to craft wood, I'm going to have to live with a pink horse. I guess I've always had a problem with using color to reinforce gender stereotypes. I'd have just as much of an issue with blue if Jedi turned out to be a boy. In countless ways, society's preconceived notions over what someone is and who someone is can do more to harm them than to help them. You may have already noticed, but Diana and I have made a constantly concerted effort to keep as many colors as neutral as possible. We are very much into the idea of letting Jedi decide what she likes. I'm not sure they've come in yet, but Diana recently ordered the Spanish alphabet book and an Italian alphabet book where Jedi is going to be able to learn words in both languages. And those books are very, very colorful. I couldn't tell you when I started to like the color red. I can only tell you that I've always remembered liking the color red. It's always been my favorite. I don't know why. 
I don't know anything about the Vanity Fair magazine, what they normally cover, but I had to pick up a copy of the latest issue, if only because they're covering Star Wars. Oh, this must be like a magazine Diana would like to read, because on the back there's an ad for Channel, and pictures of luxurious looking women on the inside. Perhaps they're trying to communicate some kind of message. Star Wars is for girls too. We've got friends at Oscar Mayer, apparently. I'm bringing home dinner. Not the bacon, though. No bacon. Hashtag sandwich, eh? She's brushing my hair with her hand. <laughs> my glasses are sitting like this because she tried to grab them. No, she successfully grabbed them, and I thwarted any effort to get them away from my face. Oh, thank you for putting them back on and then taking them off promptly. Look at that end. It's got a booger over it. And they gave us two. They do a lot of marketing towards moms, but not a lot of marketing towards dads. They sent us wine glasses. Cool. And a lunch sack that doesn't have a face on it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I've seen these photos before. This guy's funny. He's like a professional photographer and he took all of these amazing photos with his daughter. <laughs> Sorry, baby. The best I can do is video. Maybe a few photos here and there. My quotable kid. Oh, so as Jedi starts to say funny things, we write them down. Or possibly vlog them so that she can go back and hear herself when she's older. I think my mom has old tape recordings of me. Oh, cool. Yeah, but those tapes are old. Getting them digitized may be a bit of a challenge. They could get destroyed in the process. Oh, really? Yeah. They also sent along a couple of slippers that are too big for me and too small for Diana. No, wait. <laughs> too small for me and too big for Diana. And this handy brochure to explain exactly what we can do with all the things that Oscar Mayer sent us, including food. Mmm, this looks epic. Not related to the food that we've just received. I know. You can have the Swiss cheese, though. Mmm. These are the bomb. I concur. <laughs> I love how they're chewy. They don't taste incredibly sweet. Mm -mm. They're not too spicy, either. Is this the first French toast you've ever made? Wow. It smells like French toast should. Mmm. Perfect. Beyond perfect. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. You're growing. But that leaf will never grow. It's inorganic. Oh my god, hon, I think I just saw her spurt. What can we expect at this stage? Her eyesight is fully developed. And she might be having separation anxiety during the night. So if she wakes up, it doesn't necessarily mean she's hungry. It might mean she just wants mommy and daddy. But we're right there in the same room. She's also developing fears. So the doorbell might scare her. Just things that she's normally accustomed to, but they'll just start scaring her. And also... Did I miss one? I don't know. This is my first. <laughs> she gets separation anxiety like every time I walk away. Mm -hmm. And that's really normal. If you leave and she's crying, try to snuggle and hug her before you leave. 
I kind of do that. Yeah, you do. <laughs> she's trying to eat your arm. Yeah, she's farting it. Blow hard. Blow hard and make a sound. Go where I've got more arm fat. <laughs> like right there. <laughs> yeah! What's that, you? Thanks again for taking the time to watch, like, and share all the videos that we're doing for you every day across every one of our channels and for interacting with us when and wherever you can, plus for supporting us in whatever way that you see fit. We'll see you tomorrow.